I want to make this Hell's Redeemer guide in 2022 because it's honestly hard to find a good source on how to do the upgrade process correctly. It's uh, infinite damage, easy to get, and basically a requirement for high rounds when ammo becomes an issue. So uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. Mob of the Dead, BO2. So first you want to feed all three dog heads. There's one next to spawn. There's one under the plane. And the last one's at the docks. Once you finish that, you'll be able to pick up the base tomahawk, the Hell's Retriever. Now you gotta get kills with the tomahawk. I don't have an exact number, but it's probably around 20 to 25 kills with the tomahawk. Just keep training your zombies and chucking the tomahawk into the horde, and eventually you'll hear this sound. That'll tell you you finished the first step to the Hell's Redeemer quest. Now it's time to finish building the plane and go to Pack-a-Punch. So go ahead and end the round once you get to the bridge. You can still use your guns at this point. But once the next round starts, you need to stay a full round on the bridge, only using your tomahawk. So you can only kill the zombies with your tomahawk for a full round. If you're having trouble, just take the same path that I'm taking, training the zombies up. And if you do it on a low enough round like this, then they should go by pretty fast. If you did it correctly, you'll hear the afterlife sound again. Go ahead and hop on the electric chair to go back to the island. Pick yourself up. Go to the dog head closest to spawn. And then just throw your tomahawk into the lava pit. If you did it correctly, the tomahawk won't come back to you and you'll hear the afterlife sound again. Now you just gotta wait around. When the next round starts, hit afterlife, go down to where you got the Hell's Retriever, and the Hell's Redeemer will be waiting for you. So yeah, the quest is fun to do. It's fun to use, and it also has infinite damage, so it's pretty good. Yeah, Mob of the Dead is a lot of fun, and if you're on PC and you don't have it, you should check out Plutonium. You can get BO2, World at War, and eventually BO1 will be on there for free. So yeah, that was the correct way to do the Hell's Redeemer quest. I noticed a lot of videos on YouTube don't show the first part where you have to kill zombies on Alcatraz Island, but uh, yeah, don't forget to do that, and you should be good.